For my first personal development plan activity, I chose to rush a sorority. No one in my family has been a part of Greek life, and I truly had no idea what being a sorority girl looked like outside of what was depicted on movies and TV. Going into this process blind was as impactful as it was daunting. Rushing is an overwhelming but informative process. I learned not just about sorority girls, but also about Greek life's involvement in the larger community. If you're anything like me, you're probably wondering, what is rushing a sorority? The process of rushing a sorority is complex and very meticulous. Potential new members are assigned to groups with one another. Together, they walk from house to house, meeting sorority members, to discuss what makes that chapter, or a specific sorority, special. There are five houses on the NMSU campus, Alpha C Delta, Chi Omega, Delta Gamma, Delta Zeta, and Zeta Tau Alpha. Through this process, you can see the personalities of the house members and the values of each chapter. Now the question is, why is, did this stretch my personal limits? This was a personal challenge because I do not fit into the sorority girl stereotype in a lot of ways. I have very geeky interests, I have never been someone to make super strong bonds to other people fast, and I am not a huge fan of parties. I wanted to challenge my biases of sorority girls by learning about what they do and what they're actually like. Before I explain my participation in the event, I think it's important to explain how Rush Week works. Rush Week takes place over the course of three days and culminates into the girls choosing their houses on bid day. I participated in all three days and I went to bid day. On the first day, you meet with all the houses for 35 minutes. The second day, you meet up to four houses for 45 minutes. On the final day, you meet with your top two houses for an hour. Each day, the girls discuss something different with the potential new members. They talk about the sisterhood and networking opportunities, philanthropy endeavors and social events, and the personal stories about how being a part of a sisterhood helped them. Finally, Bid Day wraps up the week by having the sororities hand out bids to the girls that they have chosen to join their chapter. My Reflection on the Rushing Process Throughout my time rushing, I met a lot of people, both current sorority members and potential new members, with whom I had a lot in common. Despite the pressure of conforming for acceptance that Rush Week can encourage, many girls were upfront about their interests and ideals, no matter how controversial or niche they may be. I talked with girls about political issues, gaming, and books. The girls that I met were very open about their struggles with mental health and college, and their bravery to be their true selves was an inspiring aspect of rushing. The rushing process was interesting in that it was set up in a speed dating format, so most of my decisions were based on surface level impressions, at least for the first two days. I did not have the time to truly get to know every house before we moved on to the next step in the rushing process. This is mostly the fault of the system of rushing, which is not to say that it's an inefficient system. Rather, the main problem it presents is being overly efficient. Making small talk with 30 plus girls a day was already draining, so I can only imagine having deep conversations with every sorority would be emotionally exhausting. However, the setup does not give you enough time to get to know the houses or fully decide whether or not being in a sorority is right for you. This was my main struggle throughout the rushing process. Overall, the process was incredibly fun and eye-opening to the importance of being in a sorority. This process helped me learn about developing friendships and a sense of community throughout my time in college. While I decided that being in a sorority does not fit with who I am right now, I learned a lot about myself and I met a lot of cool girls who broke stereotypes by being brave enough to be their true selves.